Good morning. We are en route to the marina right now. This guy I'm fishing with today has no idea that we're going to shoot this today until I pick him up at the dock and ask him for his permission, of course. Give me a little bit of fuel in the boat. And we'll see what happens. We got high water, we got sunshine, and hopefully we got hungry fish. Y'all stay tuned. morning second day of fake spring it's not gonna stick around long so we're gonna take it how we can get it right now I'm not complaining a man mr. Michael Oakley from North Carolina what do you do for a living Michael truck driver truck driver coming out here to fish with us this morning hopefully I have a good day I think we got a fish trying to go right now I've already missed one had a couple of little taps and bumps, so I think we got a good day ahead of us. Yeah, that's a good fish right there. Oh, I think we got a double getting ready to happen over here on the left. I think we're gonna get him. I think it's gonna be a double. Yeah, I think you got a good fish right there, buddy. Big slow head shakes. That is a lighter rod though, so we'll see. Oh yeah, I'm trying to pull him. What he's giving me. If you gotta back the drag off a little bit, you can. That's right, I didn't even have to move the rods for you. Look at the bow in that rod, baby. And he's 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 down right here at the boat. I'm telling you, this is gonna be a good fish right here. Damn boy. 50 plus, baby. First fish. You got you a good one, that's Hell for sure. Yeah, James River special right there. How tall are you? Give the people some perspective. You're you're about 6'3. I'm uh 6'6, 320 pounds. <laughs> He's a big boy, trust me. He's a big boy. That's a great fish right there. That's a fatty. Hell yeah. CPR. That's right. He's ready. Heck yeah, buddy. Give me some. <laughs> Get it up high. 
just as we were reeling up all the other rods to move. We've been waiting on that fish for the last 30, 40 minutes. He's got smaller head shakes. I don't think he's as big as that last one. I'd say from the feel of him, 20 to 30 at least. Yeah. Oh, then he started pulling and yeah. it feels like a 40. We're going to find out here in a minute. Well, that's not the fish we was waiting on. But it's a fish. Solid 20. Yeah, it's a solid fish. Honestly, that ain't a bad fish. You can see he's been beating up against some rocks down there. Yeah, look at his lip. He's been beating up against some rocks. Oh, rock. yeah. Been tucked down with all that heavy current last couple days. Go ahead and get him back. Does it feel good? Good fish. About 25, 30 pounder. It's because that catfish hat, man. There you go. Uh, that's a solid fish, though. Well, it's definitely not a hot, fast bite today. They're making us work for it. It's probably our, I don't know, sixth or seventh hole we fish today. We'll just keep bouncing around. We're averaging about a fish per, per spot. Minus our first couple that we tried this morning that didn't pan out. We get a little further up the river, this current's gonna be ripping. Big ticket for today is probably gonna be finding them little current seams, them little rock piles, wing dams. See if we can pick those individual fish up off that stuff. Water's rising right now, so might target a little shoreline structure. I think we'll make it happen. Just about every fish we've caught today has come out of some kind of structure. I don't know if that's a big one. He's gonna feel big in that current though. Oh, what's going on there? You see it's kind of spiraling? Yeah, he's rolling. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna be as big as we think he is, but I'm sure he feels like he's about 110 pounds. See that tail? Yeah. Right there? No. I don't think he's all that big. Yeah, he's probably about 20. He just feels like he's about a million pounds. I hate when they come up like this. Do I need to clear any rods? Not yet. He's kind of sort of on top. I said when when he did that roll, it cored to. He said he wanted the 92, not the bite of one. into something serious do you understand what I meant now why we're yeah, probably going right. to come off the anchor and reel everything in because you're not three two one and there you have it another beautiful day on the James River they didn't make it easy on us but we caught several fish today and all in all I call that a success when you come fishing with us you better be ready for a full day because although Michael was happy with the day I wasn't in which he agreed to spend a little bit more time on the river this evening to see if we can improve any. 
it's warm as it's been, we found a bunch of shad and a few feet of water and decided to set up them. Stay tuned to see if that last set saved the day this time. Nice solid 40 to end the day. Yes, sir. Did you have a good time, buddy? Yeah, finishing up, man. Yes, sir, finishing strong. That was a solid fish right there. This man said, let's reel them in. Let's get ready to head back. And boom. Go back to the house. And what was on that last rod? 40. <laughs> I seen him there kind of tapping it. That's why I let you get the last rod when he was reeling them in. Well, he didn't move for a good 15 minutes. He no, just he didn't. He just sat there. <laughs> All right. We're going to do what we do, Get as photo. always, with these beautiful fish. Photo release. You can get still shots, right? All right. Now we're going to release them because I forgot to get pictures. <laughs> Ready? Yes, sir. Guys. she's gone well guys we are back at the dock mr. Michael from North Carolina truck driver carp catching extraordinaire <laughs> you've seen him here first before he gets famous we went out here and we did some work today it was not easy by any means but we got it done my boats floating away give me one second So yeah guys, if you like what we're doing, make sure you smash that like button. Consider subscribing. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all stay tuned.